A classic Yankees-Red Sox rivalry moment coming right up, but in today's MLB recap, we're starting things off in Atlanta, where the Braves won Game 1 in the series last night, and tonight they're going to win 10-1. to It was Jack Flaherty versus Chris Sale, and Chris Sale, he essentially locked up the Cy Young Award tonight if he hadn't already, just holding this Dodgers team to one run over six beyond quality innings. The Detroit Tigers, they've snuck themselves back into the playoff race where there's a legitimate shot they could catch the twins for that third wild card spot but Gunnar Henderson he's gonna hit long ball number 37 and Corbin Burns he hasn't exactly been himself for the last month plus but seven shutty tonight that is the Corbin Burns that we know the Cy Young version of him that the Orioles would love to see this postseason so the O's win this game Cal Stevenson had himself an absolute day he's gonna clear the bases with a go-ahead double he made an insane catch to prevent some runs as well and the Mets were up 4-0, and they've put themselves in a good position with recent play, but they could take themselves out of the wild card race just as fast as they blow a four-run lead. No Lindor today. Garrett Cole has had his struggles with Rafael Devers in the past, so today, the first at-bat at bat, on an 0-1 count, he's going to hit him, and in the second at-bat, he's just going to throw up the four and tell Devers to take his base. Look at Devers' reaction, because there is no one on base, and Garrett Cole, after the game, said that he spoke with coaches in the tunnel before the inning and they agreed to intentionally walk Rafael Devers even if he got the first out which he did which is why he walked Devers who owns him with no one on base and Cole says he even looked into the dugout before doing it and he just stuck to the plan but then Aaron Boone said his preference would have been to attack him but obviously I didn't communicate that well enough and then he said Garrett was a little indecisive even though Garrett said it was a plan talked about with the coaches so some contradictory statements we don't know exactly what happened and then the the third at bat after the hit by pitch and after the intentional walk he's going to be forced to pitch him because the bases are loaded and it's just ridiculous what he's doing against the reigning Cy Young Rafael Devers has owned him his whole career and Cole he was cruising until he intentionally walked Devers he allowed seven earned runs in just one inning after that and then if you're going back to the hit by pitch it's just an 0-1 count in the first we don't think anything of it but then Alex Cora post game repeatedly said that he believes Garrett Cole hit Devers on purpose in the first inning and he said he doesn't want to face him that's the bottom of the line he told us with the intentional walk that the first at bat he hit him meaning that because he intentionally walked him that that first hit by pitch was intentional and then Brian Bayo the opposing starting pitcher of Cole today said it showed a lot of weakness for Garrett Cole intentionally walking Rafael Devers despite him owning him and then Brian Bayo in the bottom of the six after the Red Sox got all of those runs the Red Sox broadcast thought that this was sending the message he put 97 miles per hour behind Aaron Judge him and Judge gave each other maybe a knowing glance but it was just to send the message he didn't hit him but maybe some retaliation they're sending the message right there just a wild game with a wild sequence of events